everybody. Happy Thursday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Thursday, everybody. Today is our creative writing exercise class. And this is the, uh, the day that we do an exercise that we have named over time. Picture this. And what is that? Picture this is when I show you guys a photograph of something. You know, whatever, you know, I look on Google images and look randomly at pictures and things that jump out at me. I figure, hey, that's kind of cool. That's some good subject matter for maybe to write a song with or to create ideas for a song to be born from it. Now, um, you know, the, the reason we do this is, um, well, it's to jumpstart your creativity because I need that sometimes. Like, I'm not always creative. And I don't think anybody's always creative. So, you know, it's, it's like a nice little, um, thing to put in your, you know, in your backpack as part of your toolkit for, you know, starting, jumpstarting ideas from images. I love images. Images set me off and movies set me off. A lot of things set me off to like want to be creative and to write. So anyway, um, you know, you know, that's, Primarily the reason why we do this, um, you know, I, we've done this in class, you know, when, when we were still at the studio, um, you know, I would, you know, look at a picture or I, you know, hold a picture up to everybody in the class and I'd say, what is this, you know, what is this, what would this sound like um, if this was a, you know, we had to name it and come up with a story based on the picture. And, um, we had a lot of good results doing that over, you know, the course of all these years. We've been doing that for forever. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make this a staple in our weekly um, routine as far as, you know, every week really working hard at, you know, you know, we always have the same subject and we always try to tackle it. Every week's a new, you know, it's a, it's a new challenge, you know. So, um yeah, um, the picture that I, uh, that I did was, um, well, I'll show you. I'm going to turn my camera around right now. So what did you think of that, um, picture? It's, it's a drawing, like someone drew. It's an artist's rendition. It's not like a photograph. It's an artist's rendition of somebody's eye. A woman's eye. You can tell the lashes are long and it's, the eye's kind of feminine looking. And the cool part about the picture is in the reflection of her eye, you can see a man walking away from her. And that's the part. I mean, I love the picture of the eye. It was beautiful. But there was, when I saw the man in the reflection of her eye, that's what really caused me to go, that's cool, you know. Um, that's really cool. I really, I really like that because there's so many ways you can go with that story, you know. Um, to me, it reminded me of like, I don't know, a rainy day in Europe, maybe France, and you know, and the guy, you know, that she's been with all this time is kind of walking away, and of course. You know, that's just fuel for me. You know, it's so, it's so, so much fuel for me to write from. Um, and so I started, you know, putting my thinking cap on and looking at it. And, and remember, guys, this is not something that you can just do in five minutes. Well, you can, you can come up with your idea and your synopsis of your story, but to write the lyrics is a whole other, you know, or to write your poem or whatever you want to write it about. It doesn't have to be a song like you. I just want you. And I tell you this too. There's no wrong way to do this. You can write whatever you see in that photograph. I don't care what it is. If, if it makes you feel something, even despite what the picture looks like, that's your business because this is your universe. So you write whatever you feel looking at that photograph. Okay. So like I said, all the time, every week. There's no wrong way to do this. This is your way, okay? All I'm asking you guys is to just go up in your mind, no rush, 
Don't worry about television. Don't worry about anyone else outside. Get in your room, close the door, go in your mind and open up that universe in your head so you can see whatever you want to see and then just write it down. Like, you know, write a little outline. So like take your pen and paper, write a little outline based on like, you know, like when you look at info on a movie on, uh, you know, on your TV, the info, it'll tell you what the movie's about. The little, little short little paragraph about what the movie's about. That's what you should be writing for the photograph that you're looking at. So you look at that and then you write your general little paragraph about what you think it's going to be about. And then, and only then, do you start to, you know, flesh out some of the the rhyming part or the, you know, like, you know, the, the outline or the poetic part of what it is, you know. So I'm going to write, I'm going to show you the lyrics that I wrote to this, okay? Um, hold on a second. Because I got to move my phone for a minute. All right. So I got the lyrics right here. Okay. So it says, We've been to the edge, hanging by a thread, looking at the wreckage. It's a sign, a message. Swallowing my pride, ego suicide. Wanted your affection, daggers stare in my direction. Can't overcome our jealousy if we're sleeping with the enemy can't overcome our jealousy if we're sleeping with the enemy now what made me think of that i mean it just seemed like in the reflection of that man you know um they can't resolve whatever problems they're having, right? And it's gotten to the point of, you know, um, you know, damage control, where like they're they're hurting each other, not physically maybe, but like abusively maybe, you know. And like when I looked at that photograph, it almost looked like she was crying, and then you see the reflection of the man walking away. And I thought that was just awesome. It's like you know, in comic books, comic books do things like that. So like. It reminded me of like, you know, a comic book when you see like, you know, the, the man walking away and the girl's holding an umbrella and, you know, you look in her eye and you see his reflection walking with his back, you know, to the reflection. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, and so now when you write your, whatever you're going to write over this, I, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, yours can be similar to mine, but I don't want you to, you know, borrow from mine. I want you to come up with your own completely original idea looking at that photograph. And then I want you to really look at it and then daydream about what that picture would do if it came to life or you had to write like a little short paragraph on it. You know, that's really all there is to it. And, uh, you know, um, this is not an easy exercise, especially when you're looking to write, you know, because I always think in songwriting terms. So, of course, I'm always right out of the gate. I mean, of course, I write my I write my little paragraph, my synopsis paragraph, but I already start thinking about rhymes and words like certain words will jump out at me. And I don't know why they come. They just come. Certain words like um, wreckage. Like when I wrote, we've been to the edge, hanging by a thread, looking at the wreckage. It's a sign, a message. I, I just, I don't know why the word wreckage. I wanted to use that word. I just, you know, or like I was thinking damage control, you know, um, things like that. Those kind of words. Um, and of course, what story of dramatic love can't be fixed with the word jealousy? I love the word jealousy. Um, and, uh, cause there's always a level of jealousy in a relationship. Someone either loves the other too much or one person cares more than the other, you know, or seems that way. Um, and that creates sometimes a little bit of 
jealousy and maybe division a little bit, you know, in relationships. Now, most healthy relationships can deal with that, talk openly and resolve these things. Some people have a hard time communicating, so they store things inside and until it's too late and they really, you know, they get really mad at the other person or whatever. But, um, you know, when I wrote this, um, yeah, that's what I saw. I, this is what, exactly what I saw over this, you know, this idea, this photograph. And so, um, I'm going to recap my words one more time for you. So you just really get the idea. Okay. We've been to the edge hanging by a thread, looking at the wreckage. It's a sign, a message, swallowing my pride, ego suicide, wanted your affection, daggers stare in my direction, can overcome our jealousy. If we're sleeping with the enemy, can overcome our jealousy. If we're sleeping with the enemy. So guys, I hope you like this exercise. I hope you like the photograph. And I cannot wait to see what you guys write for this. That is all the time we have for this Thursday. Again, this is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and your friend Joe B signing off. I love you guys. Be safe. And tomorrow, don't forget, we're going to get together and write a melody to this bad girl that I wrote tonight. So until then, have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Peace.